Hello everyone, I've got a 2013 BMW 528i. It's a four cylinder engine with a turbocharger. Today I'm replacing the oxygen sensor. This vehicle has two oxygen sensors. It's got an upstream and a downstream. But today I'm just gonna be replacing the upstream, but the downstream follows the same procedure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the two vacuum lines from the cover. There's some quick connects and just snap those and pull the cover out of the way. There's the vacuum line connections. Now I'll move this bank of wires out of the way and the oxygen sensors, they're located on this side of the engine. There's a spring retaining clip. The upper one is for the downstream sensor, and I'm not going to be working on that one today, so I'm moving it out of the way. Then I am going to be working on the lower, or sorry, the upper upstream sensor. So I pulled that connection in place, and then there's a tab that's right here. I'll press down on that tab and remove. The electrical connection okay so now I'm gonna have to crawl underneath the car I've got the car supported and gain access and to do that uh, I'll need a specialty tool this is an oxygen sensor wrench that goes around the oxygen sensor it allows for you to put the sensor on with the wire in place Okay, so now I've got access to the oxygen sensor. I'm showing the upstream oxygen sensor and the downstream is to the left of the upstream. So I'll put my specialty oxygen sensor tool on there and remove the oxygen sensor. Okay, so I removed the oxygen sensor uh, and this was what it looks like. This is the old one. The new one I used a Bosch oxygen sensor and it had anesthes applied to the threads so it, uh, it went in easy. This one came off easy and the new one went in easy too. I just hand tightened it and then I put my specialty tool on kind of like this just around the wire or through the wire and then down to the threads and just and tightened it. Okay so now it's time to connect the electrical connection. I routed the wire from the oxygen sensor back up. Now make the electrical connection a nice snap. And this one goes on the lower spring. And the downstream oxygen sensor goes on the upper spring. It's in there like that. Okay, it's nice and secure. Now it's time to put the cover on and reconnect the two vacuum lines. Okay. So. Put the cover on. We connect the two vacuum lines. And that's all there is to it. Um, in this case, I did not have a error code with the oxygen sensor. It's something I decided to do as preventive maintenance. Vehicle has over 100,000 miles.